Today we're down here in Malibu and Melbourne to show you guys how easy it is to repair Raptor. This is one of the first trailers Easy Toe painted in Raptor and as you can see over time it's copped a few stone chips. So today we're going to repair those stone chips using two different methods. Before we do anything we're going to make sure you gear up with the proper PPE and put on some nitrile gloves, a dust mask for sanding, some coveralls and some safety glasses. And a respirator for painting. First up we're going to give the surface a light sand using P180 grit sandpaper to remove the rough edges and give the Raptor something to adhere to. Now we're going to give the surface a clean using U-Pulse System 20 water-based degreaser. To do this correctly, we're going to use one rag to wipe the degreaser on and the other one to wipe it off. This ensures the surface is clean and ready for priming. Next up, we're going to use some masking tape and plastic sheets to mask up any areas we don't want to paint. Now that the surface is clean, we're going to use our Raptor Acid Etch Primer to prime the bare areas of the metal affected by the stone chips. You'll need to shake the can for two minutes before use and apply two coats at a distance of about 25 centimetres from the surface. Make sure you leave three to five minutes in between coats and the surface should be dry in about 10 to 20 minutes depending on the climate. Now we're going to show you two easy ways that you can apply Raptor. One, using one of our roller kits and two, using an aerosol. First up, let's take a look at the roller method. Before we do anything, we're going to mix up our one bottle Raptor White Marine Kits. And inside the box, we'll find a bottle of Hardener and a bottle of Raptor. Give the bottle of Raptor a shake for two minutes before use. Simply pour the Hardener inside the bottle of Raptor and give it a shake for two minutes. Inside our roller packs are two foam rollers and a tray. Once we've poured the Raptor into the tray, we're ready to apply. Before you start painting, make sure you gear up with a respirator for this one. What we want to do for this, we just want to put a light bit of Raptor on the outside of the roller. And the reason for this is we want to get the texture right. Putting the roller all the way in, we'll soak it up and then put blotches on it as we roll. So just on the outside, puts a nice, even coat. We gave the surface two coats, but you'll be able to tell when you can't see the primer underneath anymore. We gave the Raptor 60 minutes to flash off in between coats and the surface should be touch dry in about one hour and completely through dry in five to seven days. The second method is using our Raptor White aerosols. First up we're going to shake the can for two minutes, take the red cap off the top and attach it to the bottom and apply pressure to release the hardener inside. Now we're going to shake the can for another two minutes before use. We gave the surface two coats at about one metre from the surface. We also let it flash off 20 minutes in between coats. Depending on the distance between the can and the surface you're going to get a different texture. So make sure you test it out on a piece of cardboard beforehand and make sure you're matching the texture of the trailer. Once we're finished, we let the surface dry off for an hour before removing the masking tape. Now make sure you don't bait the coating out in the sun as it will blister, so make sure it dries under colour. And that's two easy ways to repair Raptor without needing a spray booth. And as you can see, the surface looks brand new again and the texture matches perfectly. If you have any more questions, head to raptorcoatings.com.au and have a look at our technical and safety data sheets.